was in the first Apple Blossom Festival and I was on the Queen's float. I've attended every Apple Blossom Festival that has been held except two. And that's when the Virginia Military Institute didn't see uh, the Apple Blossom Festival in as important I as I saw it. I miss those two, but I saw that I've attended everyone. I had the job for a while of picking the Queen. And in 1937, I picked a girl from New Orleans, Gretchen Thompson, and I met her a year or so before, and I thought she was very attractive and would make a beautiful queen. So I invited her to be the queen of that, of that 1937 festival, and she did make a beautiful queen. But it took me four years to be able to call her more like my wife. We were married in 1941. I'm not a very fast worker. Twenty different queens uh, stayed at our home in Winchester, and we enjoyed each of them, all of them. I remember when I talked with Ben Crosby and asked if his daughter could become queen of the festival. He said, well, well, Harry, I was at your invitation. I was grand marshal of the festival a number of years ago, and it was a wonderful occasion. Everybody has a wonderful time. But unless she can stay at your home, I would prefer that she not be queen. She said, I said, of course, she will stay at our home, and we'll do something else. every." afternoon at five o'clock, our time, we'll call you and you can talk with, with, uh, with the queen yourself and see if be sure she's getting along all right. What I like best, I think, about the Apple Blossom Festival, it's a community project. And it's a project where every element of the community, everyone in the community, participates for the good of the community. So many projects, or some projects at least, tend to not be a community one, but be something else. I like the way the community works together uh, for the common good, or mainly for the good of the community and their fellow citizens.